We are live here in Phoenix, Arizona at Super Bowl Media Day. Got in at 1 a.m. We're leaving at 1 a.m. 24 hours in Phoenix to spread the good news of Q Gannon. We're going to fucking gut these Chiefs with so many questions. Their heads are going to spin. They might not even show up for Sunday. Shout out to fans of Philly, the premier Eagles tailgating option in the city of Philadelphia for sending us out here. Let's go get some questions. saw this on a bus stop on Broad Street after the Eagles won the NFC Championship game. Yeah, ah, 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 yeah, Shorty got a hot, ah, ah, we're ready, baby. Bosa, Bosa. Thanks for starting the whole Rocky trend where someone put a jersey on Rocky and they lost. Oh, yeah, for sure, yeah. Yeah, go Eagles, man. You see Kirk Cousins at the Pro Bowl? Yeah, go. always do. Kirk Cousins would be a Super Bowl quarterback if we played oh, yeah, flag football. Sure. First time a Detroit Lions fan has ever been first in something. Oh. Gannon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Q Gannon. Q We're Gannon. spreading the message of Q Gannon, the best defensive coordinator in the NFL. Do you believe in Q Gannon? Uh, well, we believe in, yeah. believe in Jesus. Oh, okay. Well, Jonathan Gannon is kind of like Jesus. So I'm spreading the news of Q Gannon. Okay. Jonathan Gannon, the best defensive coordinator in the NFL. <laughs> He is. I think the dude's been much maligned, but he's back next year, man. And I think, uh, hey, we'll see what happens in the Super Bowl. Join the following. Join, oh, join yeah. the Colt. No, for sure, man. Without a doubt. I'm buying him 100%. You've got to denounce Buddy Ryan to get into the Jonathan Gannon, Q Gannon coat. Can't do it, man. <laughs> Sorry. Not a true believer in Q Gannon. Well, what's up, man? Just, what's up with what? just a bunch of just a bunch of bitching. Brandon Ayu comes out and says, like, you know, I've got all my money on the Chiefs because we didn't really get our chance to expose them and everything. Just a bunch of complaining and whining from like a six-time Super Bowl champion franchise. It's insane. Yeah. What is going on? No clue. <laughs> what is going on? Like, what, what's wrong with you guys? Lose with some dignity. <laughs> no clue. Yeah. <laughs> no dignity. Good oh. Do you like Aaron Rodgers before ayahuasca or after ayahuasca? Same. No difference. I haven't made the playoffs since he was on ayahuasca, though. That's true. One question. Yeah. The leash on Mike Tomlin. It's, just, it's getting ridiculous at this point. It's time to let him go. Got Rappaport right here, ready to break some news. Ian, we got any sources? Anything good breaking? All right. We're here with Young Gravy. Yeah. How do you think it went up there? Uh, I think it went well. We had a great conversation. It was very nice. Chiefs or birds this weekend? I'm gonna have to go birds. Show me a nipple. I wish I could. That'd be weird, dude. Show me a nipple. See your show. Yeah, show me a nipple. Oh, I want to do that. Can we say the line? Seven hours of commercial free football. We miss it. Good. We miss I, it. Good. You do? Please. Can you say it? We got commercial free. We got commercial free interviews here today, but we'll see you in September for seven hours of commercial free football. Oh, oh. Yo, Scott. Oh, watch the shoulders, man. Smack the shit out of me. One question? When I get off. All right, cool. I'll be right over here. Right. Sal, can you believe it? Two years ago, Doug Peterson throws a game. You're calling for a forensic investigation into the Eagles, and now we're back in the Super Bowl. How crazy is that? How many snaps can we get from you on Sunday? Zero. Like, we got to get you that 2004 Super Bowl. Like, we got to get you that Super Bowl that you were, you were, you know, cheated out of in 2004. Well, well here's the thing: is I don't have an ankle left, so standing here talking right, to you is you killing. One, me. We get you one snap <laughs> nah, at the okay. end of the game on the on the on the final play when we went, when the Eagles win by two touchdowns. Maybe four or five years ago, but not now. I lost the fire. We're getting your ass. We're getting your ass back on that roster, and we're getting you that Super Bowl that you rightly deserve. But anyone you want to say to Brandon Ayuk, who's sitting on his couch right now while you guys are in the Super Bowl? Not really, man. Uh, you know, I don't be paying too much, to the, all, too much of that, you know, but uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know what he be talking about, man. He, you know, uh, that's bad sportsmanship. 31 to 7, people don't forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's bad sportsmanship by him. What nickname do you like better? Vanilla Nice 
I never heard that one. Or Beavis Island. Yeah, I think it's just Vanilla Nice or Beavis Island. I don't like Beavis Island. Okay, do you like Vanilla Nice? Yeah. I thought you were gonna say because I got a, I got a, another name, Ghost. I know Ghost. I like that. I like Ghost. But <laughs> Vanilla Nice <laughs> is awesome. It's it 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 nice. Oh my God! Vanilla Nice just intercepted Pat Mahomes for pick six. Eagles win the Super Bowl. That's nice. It's got a little ring to it, though. Okay, I'm gonna trademark it. Don't you try to trademark that shit, Reed? We got it on camera. I'm trademarking this shit. Howie, does it ever get boring fleecing every GM in the NFL? <laughs> I love my relationships with the GMs in the league. I want everyone to feel good about the trades they make. You know, obviously, I want us to do well too. Um, at the end of the day, the relationships are really important. Think the Saints will ever trade with you ever again? Yeah, make it. Make done a tremendous job in New Orleans, man. I'm not worried about making the us. Coach, you love free T-shirts. We always say even in training camp. Will the Super Bowl T-shirt be the best free T-shirt you ever got? Super Bowl T-shirt. Yeah, would that be the best free T-shirt? Yeah, that'd be a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, I, I got a couple in my room, so yeah, that's a good T-shirt. Jalen Hurts, Ren Stu shirt. That was me, baby. That, what is it? The Ren Stu shirt with his, with his picture on it, the green one. That was you? That was me, baby. Awesome. Thank you, buddy. Hey, hey, a lot of sales. Yeah, all right, appreciate it. Send, you keep sending them to me, all right? All right. Hassan, is uh, Temple a basketball school? <laughs> As of lately, yeah, I would say so. But, you know, we got Stan Drake in there looking for him to do some big things these next coming years. He seemed like a great guy. I've been around him a lot. Got to talk to him. He seemed like a great guy, man. I believe that the football team is in good hands, uh, honestly. But, you know, basketball, they've been doing anything. We know historically that they're a basketball team, right? Uh, one of the most winningest. We see you courtside all the time. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm here. I'm always supporting. You know, I rock with the house, baby. Tip to you. That's all I know. Um, but, yeah, man, you know, I, I feel like we both, man. I feel like as soon as Stan get this thing back going in the right direction, I feel like we'll be both. Love Hassan Reddick. Basketball school. Coach, no? Come on, now you're on the floor. One question. Sal Pal one. Come on, Sal. Two years ago, you won an investigation against the Eagles, and now we're in the Super Bowl. How about that? Sal Pal just dodging the heavy hitting questions. What a snake Sal Pal is. Dudos' his career to the Eagles can't even answer one question because two years ago, he wanted a forensic investigation because Doug Peterson threw a game. Pfft. I'm Roger Goodell. I'm putting on my Kenesaw Mountain Landis pants on right Ooh, now. Uh oh. And I'm doing a forensic uh, investigation of what went down. You're being serious. Totally. Lane, uh, Michael Parsons wants you to win the Super Bowl. Were you surprised when it took you two years to break his spirit? Uh. Yeah, I mean, that was, uh, you know, when I heard that comment, I was like, you know, if, if I was the guy in the, in the NFC, I mean, would I ever root for him ever? But I'm like, ah, oh, those guys beat us, so I'm like, I kind of want to root for them. So I understand where he's at as a competitor, but I feel like he got a lot of flack over something that wasn't meant to be a whole lot. But you want to root for the Cowboys in the Super Bowl, right? What? You want to root for the Cowboys in the Super Bowl, though, right? <sighs> I don't know who. I mean, I got my I got my buddy Jason Peters on the team that I, that I played with for ten years. So would I want him to not get a ring? He's got one though. We're ready to talk about the gospel with Jesus himself. You like that shirt? Got to spread the gospel, baby. Coach, real quick question. Uh, we're part of an underground society called Q Gannon. Um, we love the uh, the defensive line intricacies, the Vic Fangio principles, and we love two level high safety. We have a, a, a new meeting coming up next week, and the abandoned Tolman Joe's on Oregon Ave. We'd love for you to be the speaker. I'll be there. You are our hero. We're gonna fucking gut these guys. Yeah, there you go. Are we gonna gut these guys this weekend? Uh, no <laughs> no bulletin board material. All right, look at me. I'm on. I'm just turned 30. I'm on the younger side of 30. 6'5". Quick first step, though. What do you think you turn me into? That's gotta be your second step. That's your second step on the ground. Hut! Second step was good? Yeah. Why would you rank that second step out of 10? Uh, eight. Okay, last question. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Dude, the fucking Washington Post and the ringer couldn't stand that I was doing that. <laughs> fucking relax. Do you wish you were named W. Jarius, especially with the Super Bowl on the line? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Are you losing more sleep over Darius Slay locking you up on Sunday or James Bradbury locking you up on Sunday? Sleep? Yeah, you losing it? Bro, I sleep great at night. Well, I don't know. I, see, I get 10 hours of sleep. I'm good. Two Pro Bowlers, baby. Two Pro Bowlers. I bet against Bradbury before. How'd you do? Go watch the tape. 
If you didn't know the top of your head, it's not good. If you gotta go watch the tape, you obviously don't remember that game. How many banks did you guys rob to come out here? Travis, do you plan on going after the Philadelphia mayor? Not a chance. All right, well, we haven't seen him in months, so that's okay. Right. Hey, coach, should the Eagles bring spring, uh, training camp back to Lehigh? Yeah. Are you from Lehigh? I'm from Philly. All right. Yeah. And we. Yeah. I mean, you got to talk to them. I know. I miss it. Yeah. It's not open to the public anymore. Yeah. Also, one more question, Coach. There was a rumor going around when you first uh, interviewed with uh, Jeffrey Lurie. You went to Del Frisco's, ordered three steaks, a ribeye, a porterhouse, like 50 ounces of steaks. Can you confirm that rumor? One steak. Eagles clearly won media day. Shout out to Jonathan Gannon, spreading the news of Q Gannon. Sal Pal's a bitch, but couldn't have done this without uh, fans of Philly. And uh, looking forward to Sunday. See everybody on Brawl Street. Fly, Eagles, fly. That's the Eagles. You know that I'm doing this for my people. I got to be honest. I can't be deceitful. I don't believe in treason. We had a great season, and we about to win the Super Bowl for a reason. We got Jalen Hurts. You know that it hurts. We going berserk. I feel like I'm a nerd. Shout out to the birds. Y'all Kirk and y'all Kirk, and you know that we flying high like Captain Kirk. We about to get it in. We put in work. Shout out to Vontae Smith and Christian Kirk. Oops, that's the wrong team. Either way, I know the Chiefs looking salty. Even though they going to lose, boy, we did it all week, and we finna go and win like the fault line. You can't cross mine. This is all about the Eagles. We about to fly. And you know we about to go in, we high. I mean, dang, we about to fly to Dubai. Like, dang, we about to wear us in the blue sky. Arizona, see this city is Phoenix. You know that I'm up the top and I am a genius. We high off light like we sit on Venus. Either way, you know that can't intervene with this. I see the Eagles gonna win. Send me some people like we get it in. Y'all is my friend, now y'all is my twin. And I be rapping just to set all these trends. The camera, I got the stamina. Hey, right here, this is my manager. So if y'all got some questions, we answer them. I'm about to talk about the Eagles again.